hey guys welcome to my channel um, okay this video is not about how to replace a knock sensor I already made a video on how to do this in a very simplified way uh, please check my uh, other videos and you'll find how to change a knock sensor that's without removing these intake hoses because they're hidden underneath here but this is something more important than just replacing a knock sensor now I just found out that uh, to replace a knock sensor to look something like that more important is once you are ready to install this the torque specifications are critical uh, to make sure that this knock sensor does not throw in faulty codes now keep in mind that once you're ready to you know put this on and you know install it you need to have a very specific torque specs now for my car being a Honda Accord 2005 the manual says I need to have a 23 foot pound of torque which I didn't know about now the one I have in my hand is a Delphi model now what I did I installed this I did some extra torque I didn't pay attention I just talked it a little too much and right after a day or two uh, the uh, knock sensor code the P0325 came back I was very concerned thinking that uh, there's something wrong with with the knock sensor itself or maybe the wire harness but then when I figured out that it's it's not that it's the torque which matters so what I did I reinstalled the Delphi back into my car removed it and then I used a torque wrench uh, to get to the exact 23 foot pound now remember if you install this put this at the exact torque if this is over torqued it becomes super sensitive and then it's going to start throwing faulty codes if it's under torque it's not going to throw a code and if your engine misfires or if there's a knock or a detonation it may not read it now also keep in mind that any third party ones like these the ecus are very very sensitive some of the ones may not work unfortunately the delphi didn't work for me i have to get another model and which worked perfect for me so once again keep in mind if you're using a regular ratchet like these it may not do the job because you don't know how much of torque you're doing on this so please buy a specific torque wrench to get the exact torque specs uh, now if you don't have one give or take about 23 foot pounds of uh, torque is equal to a little extra than hand tight that's all you need don't over torque these so remember when you install the knock sensor keep this in mind if not you're going to finish your job and then the code's going to throw again it's going to make you go nuts all right so hopefully this helps torque it correct way all right good luck guys 